that? Because no, Timberland signed me. What? He has a joint venture. You know what a joint venture means? Yes, I do. He has a joint venture with Def Jam. Timberland, okay. Timberland's the one reason why I was Def Jam. He signed me. Uh, yeah, for a lot. <laughs> we love, we, we love, we love hip hop. We love hip hop. Talking about sirens, all that. Sh- Let's get it popping. Okay. She wanna get me, can't leave me alone. She said I'm sexy. She took off her clothes. Girl, if you let me, I might say. Bro, leave me alone. Let me. Yo, fam, I'm doing an interview. I'm busy. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you to all the listening audience out there. We have finally, finally been able to get this popping. Big salute, everybody over here. I'm over here at the Visionary Arts Center. Um, salute to all the people in the viewing audience. And salute to our sponsors, Astro Pink. If you know, you know. Check them out on their Instagram, Astro underscore Pink, or on their website, myastropink.com. But I have the pleasure to be having the conversation finally years in the making with this young legend here we got a lot to talk about we got young tory in the motherfucking building outside (laughs) so so what's going on fam talk to me how's every how how are you feeling you know we're getting near the end of the year how what's the highlight of the year so far this year yeah just just to get a get a uh what your temperature's at right now no highlights i'm having a shitty year but sh- i'm alive you know i'm alive mm. so that, that that's a highlight i'm alive yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah i'm alive yeah. i'm alive that's a highlight and okay i just want to get straight to it fam there's been i do news stories out here and there's a lot of news stories that we've done over the years mm-hmm. and just off top Give me, let, let me know the discrepancies that you might have of any of the news stories that we've had. It's a lot of cap. Talk to me. A lot of cap. Y'all believe some stuff that you see, you see on the internet and it's not true. Mm-hmm. You got to be in my shoes and know what I'm going through. There's a lot of cap and anybody believes it. It's not true. A lot of cap. Okay, so do you want to go through that? Because I, I have a f- few things that I want to cover with this interview here. Mm-hmm. I want to go through the history, mm-hmm. right? The you know, you coming up in the game. I have a lot of different things on when you first started and all that stuff, right? Mm-hmm. Because, you know, you do have like interviews that are out there, but I want to make sure that we have a thorough understanding of the young Tory come up. Yeah, because all okay? my interviews, I never really got deep. Yeah. So, okay. Yeah. But I want to get all of that stuff out I'm of the way first. I'm getting deep this interview. I'm going crazy. I'm yes. Because everybody thinks they know me. Right. And, and I'm, I'm going to make sure that I handle this with care. Okay. But I want to get all the messy shit out the way first. Yeah, sure. Okay? So with all of the, the internet bullshit that is going on, like the first thing, like, you know, when you're saying everything's cap. Not but, everything. Okay, so let's well, go through the first it, time. Most of it. Let's go through the first one, okay? Uh-huh. Like there was the thing that popped up online with the manager from a few years yeah, ago. Yeah. What happened there, fam? I fired my manager and he couldn't take it. Mm-hmm. Set me up because it was my fault because I still mess with somebody that was still mess with him. Okay. I got lying. I was going downstairs to the basement and I was with the guy who mm-hmm. still messed with him. And he went to the um the um he went to the balcony. But okay. I'm thinking he's talking to a girl who's talking to these guys that yo, Tori's going downstairs right now. Cause I cause I have to go get something out of my car. Right. And I went downstairs, I open I go in the basement, open the door, and I hear the door open behind me while I'm going to my to, to the car. I look back, it's these two guys. And and, and they're, they're older than me. Like, so there was the guy with the camera, basically holding the camera and the yes. next man. Yeah, well, as soon as yeah. he came, he pulled the camera out. I was like, what the hell? And they say, yo, you're talking shit, screw up. I'm like, screw up. I'm not fighting you. Cause this is like my brother. Like, cause yeah. like a guy I lived with before. A guy I bought to my mom. Okay. Like, so when I said, I love you too, like a guy. And, mm. it, and I, I fired him nicely. I said, bro, you can still. There's no bad blood. And- I said, no, but to him, to me, it wasn't. I said, bro, I need a real manager because he's not a manager, bro. He's mm-hmm. just like one of these Toronto guys. It's like, not a manager. I told him, you could still be a part of his whole career. You could be at every show. You could be with me. He couldn't take that because he wanted to be the main guy, like the manager. Cause that's Toronto mentality. They want to they be a part. They don't care if you blow up unless they're involved. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But he could have been involved. Yeah. But he couldn't take it. He wanted to be the manager. And then he lied to me. So around that time, like, this is like controversy that pops up, right? Mm-hmm. And then, like, I'm sure, like, your Instagrams, like, lighten up. 
How do you deal with that, fam? Because like, I have tough skin. Hmm. Yeah. The, the regular guy would have quit this shit a long time ago. Probably killed himself. I go through so much. Mm-hmm. It's bad. Trust me. Yeah. I'm just a strong guy, bro. Okay. See, I'm glad that you addressed that and yeah. and and cleanly too, yeah, fam. Yeah, yeah. Now there was another thing that popped up, and trust me, fam. Like, I understand you getting cheesed mm-hmm. at me, mm-hmm. even though like this is the nature of what I do. I know. But like, I wouldn't enjoy seeing my name pop up in a mm. new story neither. Uh, but you should ask me because I don't lie. I lie to cops and thoughts. Mm. That's my that's my slogan. I lie to cops and thoughts. Unless you're a cop right or a there. thought, you're, I'm telling the truth. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's a that's a bar. That's my. <laughs> I, I say it to everybody. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. I'm lying. I lie to cops and thoughts. Mm. Are you a cop? Are you a thought? I'm telling you the truth. Yeah. I okay, so you, there was the time uh, with and just around the time. Actually, the second time is when you lost your account. That's because I was capping. I was mad. I went on live. I was on live angry and drunk saying death threats and they deleted my page. Okay, that's what happened, yes, fam? Yes, bro. Wow. Because remember, around that time, mad people were losing their accounts too. Nah, but I lost it because I was like, I was acting a fool on live. I was like, I was saying, because I was mad because everybody thought that shit was true. Mm. New York stuff. They thought it was true. Mm. Well, my sister called me crying. I'm like, well, what? Nobody touched me. That's his cap. And yeah. I, went on, I went on live saying, I was like, I'll kill you. But I didn't mean it. I was just drunk. But it, and then it's, Instagram, it's Instagram deleted me, yeah, yeah. And you know what? Sometimes low key, that be sometimes people reporting on the low too. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. But I don't know. The, a lot of times, Instagram has very tough guidelines, so I get that. But with that, so you said a New York guy. That was the whole issue that was going on with uh and. Like I interviewed him, you know what I'm that's saying? That's why I was so and mad at sure, you. That's why I, I, <laughs> I'm like, why is that interviewing this guy for? Do you know this guy from anywhere, bro? Who the hell is this guy? Yo. Like, what? <laughs> okay. Like I said, part of the job, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. And not to say that I was seeking him out. Okay. I'm just going to put that, uh, put it out here right uh-huh. now. It's not like, okay, the story happened and I was like, oh, let me see what's going on with this guy. I didn't know who he was. Mm-hmm. Right. He seen the story, hit me up. But he came out here capping. Okay. So what Everything happened in that situation? Cap. I'll tell you, bro. Please. I flew to New York to buy a bust down Rolex mm. by myself. You were completely dolly. Dolly. I paid thirty one thousand dollars cash. Mm. In my hotel, I went downstairs to get a, at the bar to get a shot. There was some old guy, like an OG. He said, "Yo, I know you. I was on tour with you and Dirk. I, I, I went on a tour with Dirk. Yeah. 30, 30, day, Thirty day tour on a, on a tour bus. Mm-hmm. He said, "Yo, I was there. Me, I have a good facial recognition. So he was there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then he introduced me to these weird guys. And then I, I, he took me to the studio with them." And I came in, I saw, oh, I came in, I saw the baddest little um, Filipino, whatever she was, with a, mm. with a bust on AP. Took her from these guys. But then I made songs with them because I was like lit and I'm a nice guy. Like I, I like music. Yeah. Like, like, I'm in music that I'll never drop just because I like making music. Right. So you guys are doing some collabs yeah, in the made a lot. I made like, like, I have like three songs with that guy, bro. Mm-hmm. Just because I like making music. So then um, say, the first night I met them, bro, I was lit. I got drunk and I caved. You see the video of me sleep, sleeping. And he said, okay, no, before that. So I that tried, was you I, knocked out? Not to interrupt you. That was, that was you just me knocked sleeping, out sleeping. Drunk. Sleeping. But he says, I, I did try his AP on. When I tried it on, it was fake as hell. It so what about him saying AP. that you cracked the AP? What about He's that part? happened, bro. That's lies. I, never, I gave him his watch right back. Mm. What? Mm. But that, but then the night, then he he recorded me. But even in that video, he's not trying to like crown me. He's like the man sleep. Oh, no, no, no. I was, he, he said he's done. Like, but but it seemed like I don't know. He made, he made it seem like he actually knocked me out. Mm. Bro, nobody touched me that night, bro. I oh and I came with a bag with twenty one thousand dollars in it. Nobody touched me. I woke up with my bag in my in my hand. You know why? Because the Filipino thing loved me so much. He put it in my hand while I was sleeping. I woke up with it like this. I was like, whoa. So you still woke up with all your shit, though. That's the thing. Yes. Like, that's, that, that's, that's, that's what confused me about the story, right? Because if it was like a beef thing, like usually you knock somebody out and you take all their shit. Exactly. Right? Exactly. But here, here's I one thing. I had my chain on. I had everything, though. And here's one thing I want to say to you, and this is not even a question, fam. You got to roll smarter, fam. You can't be doing all that doly shit, fam. But this, I don't, as, a, as an OG I don't trust team, niggas, niggas. Niggas do me dirty. I rather, I'm saving by myself. Niggas yeah. are weird, bro. Trust me. Everybody I get weird, it. Bro. I, I I do get it. I get it. But you're a known face out here. You know what I'm saying? I have security you, sometimes. You... But even they be weird. Niggas are weird, bro. Yeah. 
just please be careful out there, fam. I'm trying. Okay? And, 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 you know, with everything that, like, I've reported before and stuff like that, and not to say that I, you know, if anything happens, I might have to do another news report again. Yeah, right? It's just mine. It's, it's your job, like you said. It's never no disrespect. And now that we're having this conversation and, like, we have a line of communication, and I say this, and, I, and I'm going to make sure that this ca- the camera people know this too, right? Yeah. Like, if I have a line of communication with somebody, if they pop up in the news, I'm hitting you up first before I'm going to do the news story, before even recording it, far less more than but, publishing but, but it. But sometimes you don't do that. You just be posting. If I don't have the, com- if I don't have the, oh, the line of communication. Just DM me. I answer my DMs. Yeah. <laughs> but, you know, after this, I feel that we're going to be cooler, yeah. right? And, like, moving forward, something happens, and God forbid, I'm sure, I'm hoping nothing else happens. Mm-hmm. I'm like, yo, Tori, or yo, Tori, walk, go on. Okay? Boom, boom, boom. I, I might not even run the story. Mm-hmm. Okay, and it's not just for you. This is just for anybody out there. Okay, now I'm glad that we cleared that up. Let's let's go through the, your your history. Born in Scarborough, mm-hmm. right? Raised in Atlanta. Raised in Atlanta. When I was born in Scarborough, my mom took me back to my dad was in Atlanta. Mm-hmm. My okay. mom took me when I was a baby. And I lived there for ten years, and then I came back. When I came back, I'm from Saga. So I lived in Saga probably for like twelve years. Okay, so let's 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 stop right there. When you first started off in Scarborough, parents were together and then they separated? No, my dad was never from Scarborough. My mom, sorry, mom. My mom took, stole us from, stole us from my dad, from, from Atlanta. Wow. Yeah. You mind telling that story? That's, that sounds like a good story. No, I love my mom. I'm not talking about my mom. I love my mom. She's, okay. She's a, she's an amazing mother. Yeah. And you know, you have a background, Jamaican and Grenadian. My dad's mm-hmm. Grenadian. My mom's Jamaican. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Both Rasta. Yeah. Both Rasta. All right. So now growing up in a, in a Rasta household, you know what I'm saying? Were you like subjected to like the rules of Rastafari? And this is coming from somebody who's Rastafari also. I used to have the dreads, you know what I'm saying? All the way down to my back. I didn't know that. Yeah, 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 yeah. So like not a lot to shave, not a lot to eat meat, um, not even fish, but. I don't eat no meat. I've never eaten meat in my life. Really? Yeah. Okay, I'm okay. Born, I'm born vegan. All right. And like. I'm scared of meat. So. No homo. <laughs> <laughs> Pause. <laughs> Pause. <laughs> huh? So then, tell me about like that upbringing. Like, was it like a very Rastafari household? Yeah, I have morals. A lot of niggas mm-hmm. don't have morals. Mm-hmm. Like, I, bro, I was raised right. That's why. Bro, when I was like a kid, I was like a gangster. Bro, I changed. I'm not a gangster right now. I'm, yeah. not, I'm, I'm from. The, I'm from the more hood. The hood is hood is uh, all these guys act like gangsters. I'm from the hood. Mm-hmm. I'm from the trenches, but I am not that anymore. Yeah. This rap shit saved my life. So between now you went, like in the time that you were in Atlanta, mm. how did that change your perspective? That because, made me a rapper. I went yeah. to an all black school, a private school called Children of the Most High. All mm. black. It was a cultural school. My, my dad. That school, that's, that's, is that a Rasta school? It's not. It's a cultural school. It's not, it's not Rasta. Okay. It's like cultural. It's like African, like black. It's not African people, but like, it's like, you no know, culture, like black culture. It's yeah. Like, like, those type of schools. My dad paid a lot of money for to, it's a private school. It costs money. Children of the Most High. Yes, Children of the Most High. Is still there to this very day. Mm-hmm. That's and my on a field trip was called to go to the studio. That's why I made my first song ever. I was like, fuck, I was like 13. 11 years old, probably thirteen. Yeah, 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 yeah. My first song. Yeah. Come and go. I, that, that was my first song I ever dropped. Yeah. On my oh, you know, come and go. That's crazy. Bro, I do my research, <laughs> man. I'm not, I'm not here to play around, man. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so you drop Come and Go. Yeah. How did that feel? Like, you're, you're starting to make music. How did so, your parents feel about it? That was the first it? time I've ever used auto-tune. Okay. On Come and Go. Yeah. Yeah, the first time I ever used auto-tune. And I was like, oh, I sound sick. Mm. Yeah, I was like, yo. Because before that, I used to just rap. You ask, just ask, my, ask my friend, bro. Me and my friends used to rap. But I never knew what auto-tune was. Were you like freestyling and stuff with the, with, the, with the homies? I started rapping. I bought a mic from the dollar store and I was, me, I'm a nerd on a computer. So mm-hmm. I was an engineer. I, I recorded Free Dope 2 in Lil Dirk's basement by myself. Really? Because he has a studio in his basement. Okay. I didn't have an engineer. It was me. I'm a nerd, bro. Mm-hmm, <laughs> like I'm mm-hmm. smart. But Pro Tools, I can't use all this stuff. I use Pro Tools. Yeah, yeah, no, uh, that, that's a good skill to have. And yeah. you know, it's early. You know, you can't even call yourself a nerd no more because now it's like... No, I'm still a nerd, but I'm, I'm a smart guy. I'm a genius. Yeah, and listen, coming from a nerd himself, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. However, like, now so many people know how to, like, record themselves. Yeah. When you were doing it, and this is like 2015, 2015 no, like no, earlier. No, it was my sign, it was 2017. Right? Yeah. 
this is early before everybody was like getting on to like figuring out how to record themselves. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, nah, but fam, you can go play the album. Every song you hear on Frito Two, I recorded it, and you mix it down and all that oh, too. No, I send that to somebody. Okay, but I okay. recorded it myself. All right, okay. Yeah. And in 2016, you dropped Water, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a song that, that blew me up. How that does How does Say Cheese get get um a I hold of pay. it? Hmm? Actually, one time, you know, I started it's the Zach story. I posted on um, what did I post. It was sometime, It was it was water. It was water. Mm -hmm. I posted water, and I, I the, the caption was everybody tag say cheese TV, mm. and they saw it and they posted my shit for free. After that, I started paying every dollar I got. I I had a job and I used to sell weed. Mm -hmm. Every dollar I got, I invested in myself because it was cheap back then. Now it's expensive. So yeah. I was gonna say cheese. I was. It was like how much? Was, how much? It was like one hundred and fifty. Get the fuck out of here for a say cheese yeah, post, bro. It was. Now it's like 1500 2000 3000 yeah, Trust easily, me. It's easily. crazy, bro. Wow. I used to pay $150. Every dollar I got, I used to invest in myself. And that's how Dirk found me. Okay. Dirk DM'd me because of Say Cheese TV and YouTube. Okay. Yeah. So, and that was just when water dropped, right? Mm -hmm. and no, then, it was after Run It Up. Okay. Yeah. But he DM'd me talking about both those two songs. So, when did he jump on the remix for Run It Up? He DM'd me and said that Run It Up hard. Send it to me. Bro, I promise you, I sent him the song and the day after he sent it back with the hardest verse ever. There's a video of him pump playing it in, in, in his hotel room. <laughs> Yo, fam. Okay. He, he did the verse ASAP. I, okay, I need I need to stop there. And I need to find out about the feelings around it, okay? Bro, Be, what, what, because he like, gave me at 3 a.m. in the morning. Everybody was sleeping. Mm. I, I saw, I felt sorry I thought it was fake when I put the page. It was real, real dirt. Mm -hmm. And no one understands, I am a Chicago. I was the first person to know who Chief Keith was. I right. promise you. I promise you. Ask, yo, ask this guy. Ask Amaya, my, my bro. Bro, I'm the first guy to know who Chief Key was. I put all my friends on Chief Key. Mm. And then, and then everybody, then they, they started blowing up. But that's me. I'm like a guy. I like music. I don't go for if you're popping. Like, I like underground artists. I yeah. found, I was the first guy to know Fetty Wap. First guy to know Chief Key. The first okay. guy to know Bobby Schmurder. Who else was it? Days Loaf. So when you get the text at like 3 a.m., like, yeah, verse ready or whatever, right? No, that's 3 a.m. is when he DM me. Right? Okay, when you get the DM, I mean. Mm -hmm. How are you feeling, fam? Because, like, remember, it's not as easy to when you're coming from here, even though you have the Atlanta experience, mm -hmm. still coming from Canada is harder to get into this rap game, For me, fam. it wasn't, fam. My shit happened so quick. Okay. After water, bro, water, bro, it got, I blew up in like a month. Mm. I the first time I ever took my rap career seriously is when it was water. And then right and when you took it, it seriously, up. it was, you, you were and gone. And it blew up, bro. Wow. First time I took my career serious, I promise you. Okay. So now you get with Lil Dirk, right? Mm -hmm. How is that contract work? Is it a contract? Because I, yeah, I, I watched signed, a few I interviews. A mm -hmm. right? It wasn't a co-sign. Okay. I got signed. I was OTA. And then like, with that being said now, how was he, how did he put the extra battery on your, on your career? Shout out to our sponsors, Astro Pink. Always coming with that loud, loud. Check them out on their website, myastropink.com, or you can hit them up on Instagram, at Astro underscore Pink. If you know, you know. He got me in the game. I've been around, I've been around your favorite rapper. Everybody knows you. Mm. He got me in the game. He got me through the door. I was like, I was blowing up by myself, but he got me in the game. Yeah, yeah. yeah so it. who are you meeting now when you, when you get the, not, not that you're signed to OTF? Bro, everybody knows me. I, I, I has got, I has got to be out of here. I got when I'm in, when I'm in LA. Are you crazy? I'm, in, I'm in the biggest. I'm in every room, bro. People act like I'm not. Bro, everybody knows me. Mm -hmm. I have Trippie Red's my dog, bro. I have Kiki Palmer's number, bro. She wanted me, uh, bro. I have like I'm Kiki in the game. Kiki Palmer, bro. eh? Holy <laughs> what? Like no one understands. I'm not a little guy, bro. Mm. I'm a legend. I, I am the first guy out here, the first young boy. Yeah. To get signed, first young boy. I'm not talking about like nah. I'm talking about the young boys. Yeah, I'm yeah. I'm the first one, bro. Yeah, and even like with the Vlad TV interview, you know what I mean? So I was, well, like I said, there was someone before me. No, there wasn't. Okay. Tell me who. Oh, on Vlad? Before me. Tell me who. Well, young there, boys. There, not, none of the young boys. Exactly, none of the young boys. Exactly. There was exactly, some older heads that were on Vlad yeah, back in the days. Exactly. But none of the young boys. Exactly. Uh, and just even on that, just sidetrack, no sidetrack, right? What, when did he holler at you? Like right after water, did you get the holler from Vlad? Right, yeah. Okay, did he like he, send you a DM or no, like did it, like Dirk hook that up or anything? No, he sent me a DM when I but it was when I was living with Dirk. Mm. In Atlanta. 
Tell me about that experience living with Dirk. I lived with Dirk for like seven, ten and a half months, probably eight. It was fun, bro. I mean, I met every rapper. I met my mm. favorite rappers. I met, G- I met my favorite rappers, bro. Yeah, yeah. And everybody, and they all knew who I was. It was like, it was crazy, bro. I met little Uzi mm-hmm. first for the first time. He pointed at me and said, I know you. He said, yeah, 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 on my mama. <laughs> on my mama. That's crazy. On my mama. Wow, wow, wow. Um, With the um, whole being part of um, Dirk's crew and everything like that, right? You know, being, you know, stamped. You know what I'm saying? You're part of OTF. And with with that, you know, the, the name itself, right? Representing O Block and stuff like that, right? Mm-hmm. Obviously, you're not from Chicago, but did that, like, did anybody try to, like, hit you in the DMs and all that and be like, yo, you're a pack and all that because you're rolling with Dirk? You know nah, what I'm saying? Nah, because I don't rap gangster. I'm not a, I'm not a gangster. It, I, still. I, 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 no, no, they don't. I never, I've never had none of Dirk's, none of that shit like in my, my life at all. Yeah, yeah, so I'm, yeah. I'm a, I'm a raw star. Mm-hmm. I, I don't even make that type of music. What did, what did your parents think about it? Like, not before, not with the, the, the blow up part. I want to know two parts. When you first started rapping and then like, then when you started attaining success. So when you first started rapping, how did your parents feel about it? My mom believed me. I'm not believe me. Yeah. Mm. Cause I love, you can tell I love it. Yeah. They didn't want you to try and maybe, maybe make some reggae music, some roots. My mom did, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> I'm, I would imagine. My mom wrote so, me a right? song before. It was so trash, but she was talking like you know, like the roots. Yeah, <laughs> that ass. My mom wrote me a song. She wrote it on a piece of paper. And then when shit starts popping now, right? Mm-hmm. How are they feeling now? Like, what are they saying to you? Like, yo, yo this is. I mean, like when I blew up, I was talking to my dad. I cut my dad off. Mm. But like my mom, bro, she was just she was for it. She was with me. My mom, my, my mom's my best friend. Yeah, yeah she was for it. But I didn't talk to my dad. I pulled up on my dad when I was in Atlanta. Okay. I haven't seen him in like six years. He lives in Atlanta. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I was in Atlanta because I live with Dirk in Atlanta. So the I next time you saw randomly, him. Randomly, randomly, like, because I know my, like my older brother's friend, Josh, mm-hmm. he lives right by my dad. And I'm talking to Josh. Right, and, right. And I told Josh, send me to Eddie, I'm coming, but don't tell Yasu. I, I pulled up my dad, started crying. Wow. I was, and I was like famous now. Yeah. And He's seeing you all over the fucking YouTube, yeah, all over the started, timeline. I started crying, though. Because I, I'm a good person, but like, like, he would never call me. He would never do that. He didn't care. Mm-hmm. I had to go fix my our relationship. Yeah. No, that's blessed, man. Yeah. That's blessed. And, and even like with, um, when, when you were coming up and stuff like that and you start getting that, you know, you're coming back into the city and stuff like that. You start, you know, everybody starts receiving you different. How was that? Because you know how Toronto is. Once you start bubbling other places, now everybody's on your dick. You know what I'm saying? So how was that? Did you start seeing everybody start treating you way different? Like I'm talking from close to like people you barely know. Not my close people. Hmm. But like, yeah, everybody else. How so? Like, so what, what were the changes like? Well, I'm a superstar now. It's just, it's just different. Um, thanks, man. It was like, treating like I was like, God. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Shit like that, man. Yeah, 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 like, yeah. Any girl I want. Any girl I want. Like, bro. I'm sure you double back on some things that, that you weren't able to smash before. Yeah. <laughs> oh, they, they, they got a one-off. <laughs> <laughs> one and done, though. <laughs> oh, man. But, you know, okay. Uh, actually, before I get to, you know, actually, no, I want to stay here for a second. Even with this year, we started off this interview talking about how you said you had a shit year. But there was one thing that I did see that was fucking positive as hell. Or positive as, as, as heaven. <laughs> Timberland. Yeah. Can you tell us about that? Cause Bro, Timberland signed me. What? He has a joint venture. You know what a joint venture means? Yes, I do. He has a joint venture with Def Jam. Timberland, okay. Timberland's the one reason why I was Def Jam. He signed me. Um, yeah, for a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so then that brings me to another question. You and Dirk don't work together anymore on a on a business tip? Dirk's still my dog. I haven't seen Dirk in a year. Mm-hmm. No, a year and a half. Yeah. Yeah, 
but he 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 like kind of like not he didn't like I made myself, but he like really is a part of the shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He's my dog forever. Like, he just, he has like fifteen million followers. He's so far with me. Like, that's my dog. Yeah. Like, I, haven't, I haven't talked to him in that because like, we went through some shit. I yeah, don't, I don't want to talk about that though. No, no, I, I, I know about all of that, and we don't even need to talk no, about. No, like, he never public. dropped me. Okay, thank you. I never got dropped from OTF. Stop saying. I'm tired of people saying that, bro. No, I didn't get dropped from nothing. Not even that job. I got dropped from nothing. Why would you drop this? <laughs> Crazy. The hell? No, nah, fam. See, this nigga's good. He's clearing up all of the shit today, fam. Yo, thank you for clearing that up, fam. Because mm-hmm. like, I, I wanted to know, fam. Mm-hmm. And and you 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 you've been dealing with some stuff recently, fam. I know you don't. I don't want to get get into it, but like you had a, like a legal issue that I seen pop up on the blog the other day. Mm-hmm. Are you going like I don't know like a legal issue? They didn't divulge what it was, and they said that your show got fucked up for it. No, oh, oh, oh. but that that wasn't a legal issue for me. I didn't get in trouble. I I, I wasn't even there. I was on my way. Mm. Mm. Okay. Um. One thing I was you know while we're having this conversation here that I like really wanted to know. Because, you know, you got this connection over the years with Dirk and stuff like that. You know, you, you tried to um, doing the auto tune from back when you were like 13, right? Mm-hmm. Who were you listening to before you even got into making music, fam? My favorite artist was Freddie Wap. Really? And I have an interview. It's called Bound to Blow. It's like when I was in the like, start. Me and, me, and, me and my main guy, Charlton. Shout out Charlton Mitchell. Mm-hmm. It's like me and my, um, in my, I'm from Roach Court, Mississauga. It was me and like my, my, the park area of my building. Mm-hmm. And it's like me talk, just talking about my life. I'm like, yo, I did, I, I said, everything I said in the video came true. Mm. We had, like, after this interview, you gotta watch it. Okay. I'm like, yo, I just dropped water. It's at 7,000 right now. It's gonna be a million soon. Mm-hmm. That video has three million views. Um, I'm, I'm like, yo, I'm trying to get my mom out of the hood. I'm trying to get her to the house, but I was, bring, I was born to live. Exact word. I was born I'm fanatic. Yeah. Sauce. Exactly what I said. Watch, yeah. watch, watch me. Watch the video. Um, and I the said, interview from before. And I said, because the question was that we are favorite artists. I'm like, my favorite artist is Freddie Wap. When I get up, I'm going to make a song with him. Mm-hmm. I made a song with him in real life. And he, and he brought me on tour with him in Canada. Too. Yeah. Like, like, everything I say, I'm, 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 I believe in manifestation. Mm-hmm. What's one of the, um like, over the like time, like moving around on tour and stuff like that, give me like one of the craziest things that that's happened on tour. Like, crazy, huh? like I'm talking about like I'm crazy, so I, life is crazy. So yeah. crazy. and I've seen like you perform and like you guys get you guys turn up, right? Mm-hmm. So have you ever been performing and you're like you're watching like like some sh- like you're like. Like, give me your okay, most okay. memorable have, show. Like, I something have, that you're like, holy shit, I can't believe this happened tonight, fam. You guys are at the hotel talking about it for like two well, nights a after. A lot of crazy stuff. I have to say, my life is crazy. Yeah. Like, I, I threw my shirt in, 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 in the crowd one time and mm. girls started fighting, like fighting for it. Really? Boxing each other. <laughs> like, it was crazy. I jumped in the crowd one time. I was in, um, what was that? I think it was Ottawa. I was in the crowd one time and some, there was some black guy that was like staring at me. Mm-hmm. Like, but he looked angry. And then I, I went in his face. I was rapping in his face, and then he like got like he tried to like size me up. My niggas ran off the stage and beat him up. <laughs> like dead ass. It was it was funny though. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Because like people are weird, but a lot of crazy stuff happens. Man. What about even like um with back here in the city and stuff like that, right? Mm-hmm. Um, what's one of the 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 highlights of even performing over here because every time you come back, I'm sure you get a different reception. Wow, that's, that's not really, all my shows are crazy. Mm-hmm. It's all on the same level. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Last couple of questions I have for you here. All right. You, you know, you're a young man, but you've gone through a lot in the game. You've, you've been able to accomplish a lot. You know what I'm saying? And I'm sure you learned a lot of lessons. What's one of the biggest lessons that you've learned that stuck with you? You know what I'm saying? Like maybe a gem that somebody dropped on you or just something that you learned from an experience. You just can't trust people. You can't show a lot too much love. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like what's one thing that you wish that you knew then, like when you were younger, that you know now? Same thing I just said. You know, don't trust mm-hmm. people. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I feel that, you know, this is something like that we could take from this conversation that like you got to be careful with who you show love to Mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying like i feel like you you have a lot that you can like that you could grow to and you've already done a lot in a short space of time the only thing that's stopping you from getting to that next level is just the, the, the the decisions that you make you know what i'm saying yeah man okay what do you got coming up next I don't know if the news is going to be dropping like real singles. Mm-hmm. Kind of like, you know, getting some back up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Next time, I think the next time I'm going to be dropping is the EP. With Timberland in, in, in the, in the cut now, I'm sure he's, you know, opened you up to even some other features and stuff. I'm sure, sh- I'm sure you got a couple of features in the tuck. Not for Timberland. No? But Timberland was good tonight, but I didn't get any features. But I had a feature. Mm. Can I get a one, two features uh, for the audience, or? Well, I have a lot. Uh, I'd be forgetting. Like, I have Jay Critch. I have, um. Sanctum. Oh, that's a lot. I have so much Dirk songs I haven't dropped. Um. This guy said he has a bag of Dirk songs. Holy. I have a lot of Dirk songs I haven't really stressed me a lot. Yo, fam, throw, drop. Oh, there's time. more. I just can't think. I know, that's what I'm trying to say. There's a lot, bro. We got, oh, I got two songs of YNW Melly. Free that guy. Who else? <coughs> yeah, we got Burner. Burner. I got one unreleased with Burner. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. That's a seven <laughs> little dirks for exactly. the people who can't hear off on. Yeah, he's the reason why I rap how I rap now, like how I record. Because yeah, he like, punches in. I first when I, when I signed when I was signed, I used to write music. Like I wrote water, I wrote run it up, I wrote them shits. Now I'm the sickest, bro. No, understand? You guys see me record? I am literally the sickest rapper ever. Bro. I'm the best rapper in the world. Sorry, Lil Wayne. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we got a bag of. You, you, there's we, way more. Trust me, there's way more, bro. We, Tyler Your Way. That's Post, Post Malone's artist. Oh. I know who that is. Yeah, yeah there's, bro, there's yeah. a lot. Huh? Nah, nah, I never met Post yet. No, we'll, we'll put it into the atmosphere. Posty, yeah. forward to the studio. <laughs> bring a six pack, no, 12 pack of Budweiser's. <laughs> <laughs> no, for, for Young Tory. Oh, they're going to yeah, split the 12 beer. pack. I the beers. And then, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Salute to Homer's beer right there. You know what I mean? But yeah, man, yo, listen, fam, I feel like we, we, we've covered a lot of ground today. We, we got to find, we get the concise young Tory story, all of the different rumors and everything that people have been talking about in the blogs clear up. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and I think we're cool now, right? We're good now. Yeah, I'm on. Okay. Okay. <laughs> listen, fam, I think I'm going to bring this out with some, some, some music right play, here. Play, play, play water. Water. Let's get some water popping here. Let's get 